Here we are, Joel from Extreme Cam Reviews. We're hiking up in the Vasquez Rocks in Agua Dulce. Oh! And we got some cool stuff. Oh, my dog almost took me out there. Hey, I've got something to show you. I'm very excited about it. I want to review it. Months of hard use have finally culminated into one great moment of sharing this with you. And we're hiking with it. It's that light. It's big, but it's that light. I'm going to show this to you. You ready? Let's go. Good morning, Extreme Cam here, for what it's worth. Morning. I used to be extreme when I was a young man. Hey, we're hiking right now, Vasquez Rocks. I got both my older boys with me, and we are ready to show you the most amazing thing. Remember, I go to Costco, I buy two things when I'm on my own. I buy a bag of chips my wife has never heard of, and I buy a light that she's not happy about. So here's the light. Bought this thing for three friends, and now this is number two for myself. I'm definitely spoiling myself. This is called Midlife Crisis. I'm saving the Corvette money. I bought myself a second one of these things. My Midlife Crisis. My you own. want one too? My own. And what about you? Okay. I'm you know, you don't have to ask me because I'll go down and buy another. $29. I can't beat it. So show me what you got, son. You got a very a light. special light. I'm going to um, kind of do a little move around here. This light is basically a shop light that has three hours at this full bright setting and uh and it's made by a caterpillar as you can see the awesome logo there this is a costco score i did find it on amazon for 68 bucks somebody was selling it for um i'm sorry when i can go to costco for 29 dollars and buy this dreamy little lady to take me everywhere and uh kian show the back here the back is awesome what does it have here <laughs> Hey, Kushka just sneeze farted. I, I think we call that snarting. I don't know. What do you call that, Caleb? That is, that was an epic whatever you just did over there. Okay, sorry about that, folks. So, a little interruption to our scheduled program. But when somebody sneeze farts, it needs to be documented. All right. So, what does this have here, Kian? What does that button do? It tells you everything it does right there in the instructions, which is kind of cool. Turns it on. It turns it on. And then when you half push it, what does it do? Makes it lighter. Oh, no, you brighter. had it on the darker setting. Okay, so now it's brighter. <laughs> brighter. Oh, good. Okay, see, that's a surprise. Look at how bright that thing is. We're just getting close to sunrise. There's a charge port there, a USB port that you can uh, charge your devices with. Cell phones, iPhones, iPads. Um, at six hours of runtime at the lower setting, which is what we started on, and now we're in the higher setting, it promises three hours. And I've had a I have an LAPD buddy that did a great field test on this thing off camera, of course, but he ran it and ran it and ran it. And he said he got pretty much better than what they promised. Of course, they always uh, underestimate just so they don't have anybody with a broken heart. And this, this button here, you hold that down and then you can basically turn on the uh, USB port and that fires that up. And then you can actually use it as a light and as a charger. And then the other thing that it does here is if you hit that, it gives you a battery life indicator. So that's like a little fuel gauge. A fuel gauge for the battery life. How awesome is that? Then you got this weatherproof cover here. It keeps it pretty much in a mode that you can go. I hang this thing up in extreme weather, folks. This has been a long-term test, so I'm not going to just bore you with the, I think you should buy it. This thing you should buy. I spent thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars on light kits over the years for production uses since I'm a cameraman. And uh, this thing, this is crazy. It's, I'm not a plugged in to some generator that's, mo you know, that's rumbling off in the background, running out of gas and stuff. I'm on batteries for three hours at the highest setting, which is just crazy. So I wanted to give you guys an idea long-term test I'm impressed my there's my pelican right there that's the pelican light it goes for it's like a little laser beam it's a firefighter 90 degree flashlight see it up on the rock there this light does not do the same thing but you can still see it you can still see my pelican I'm holding up my work light this guy and it's more of a overall scene light and you can really control it. And you can plug it into power too if you need to. It's got an AC cable to it. And you can also charge your cell phone on it. 
I mean, I can't go anywhere without this light now. Highly recommend this light. Totally go abuse it. Throw it into some weather. I can't wait. I'm getting into some extreme weather out our way because we have, I have to cover the news from the desert to the sea. And this light makes it possible to do the extreme storms, the snow, the, the rain, monsoonal moisture. This light that we're uh, reviewing has a lot of pros and a few cons. If you're like the backpack queen and you have to have your your everything down to like 22 pounds and live off your backpack for don't three buy weeks, it. Don't buy this it. is going to take up some room in your backpack and weigh a little bit. But it's not it's not like ridiculously heavy for six hours of light. I think it's a pretty good trade off. Um, and uh, you can charge your cell phone and devices off of that back part. Um, I'm trying to think of some other cons. I haven't found many. That's why I've bought two now. Um, yeah. Just the size and the weight. Basically, Christmas is coming. Go to Costco. Go to Amazon. Go somewhere and buy this light for whoever you love because you can use it. I, I, I would tell you if it sucked. I've got a couple of lights that I'm not happy with. And uh, this is not one of them. This one I use all the time. So... As I tell some of my friends' wives, I go, if you love your husband, if you love your husband, you would buy him this light. There's the LED element. This thing's built tough, weatherproof, good metal case, awesome visibility so you can find that yellow and black sitting, um, sitting on the ranch wherever you leave it. You could use this if you're a city boy, a country boy, a survivalist, a fisherman, a hunter, a cop, firefighter. A uh, extreme weather photographer, uh, a hiker, a camper. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with this. My wife uses it to go out to uh, get her holiday ki uh, kits out of the barn. Um, this thing has just got a million different uses. Uh, I can't say enough about this light. It's such a high recommendation from us. And I believe, you know, if you're into survival and you love your buddy over at Black Scout Survival, they'll probably endorse this light too. He just needs to go out and abuse it a little bit. He'll probably find a way to sharpen knives on it and catch a fish with it and uh, pick a lock with it. But <clears throat> I'm not that advanced. I'm no science a scientist. I'm no uh, expert survivalist. I'm just a dad that likes to abuse things. One last thing I wanted to share with you guys. The Black Scout Survival Solas Patch. You gotta get one. I, I look at Ken's lighting it up with the light we're all pimping. Really. This light is so awesome because it, we're, I'm at murders, fires, floods, extreme weather, all kinds of crazy news events. And uh, this thing is awesome because it is so highly reflective that the cops and the firefighters and anybody driving around these incidents can yeah. see me. Plus, if I go into a situation where I'm lost and I have search crews looking for me and they're shining lights out in somewhere, you can see this light for this uh, reflective patch on hook and loop for miles away. It's something I would appreciate if I was looking for somebody who was lost, and I know that they appreciate it. So go down to Black Scout Survival. He's got a great YouTube channel. He's got a great website, and he teaches so much good and important stuff, and he sells good gear like this, so check it out. Jack, thank you, buddy. For some reason, I'm going to this over the cylindrical, typical cop flashlights or the little LEDs that just take double a batteries i'm going to this more often i find myself using this so much more than the typical flashlights the other ones are great for uh you know hammering nails and uh you know whacking mean people over the head but this one is has got so many uses so i just see myself using it even though it's a little bit big you know it's a little bit big but i like the handle i like the fact that it stands on its own i can hang it on a nail or i hang it on a carabiner or tie it on a rope or put it into a survival bracelet and hang it from a tree so many different things so tell me what you do with it so i can learn from you i really want to hear from you guys because you guys are using this way differently than i am so i want to be taught by you i like to share information and that's what is the best thing about youtube is that we're able to share what we have a testimony of or we have some kind of information that other people don't have and we can share that with other people so Contribute as much as you can. Send me an email. Tell me I'm a crazy dressing weirdo or tell me that you have a better light. I'd love to know that.